Let's move on to main topic number five, shall we? Rob, what is our fifth main topic today? Well, our fifth main topic comes to us from Kyle Arking. Guild of America has announced that they will only nominate films with an exclusive seven-day theatrical run. With the resurgence of people returning to the movies and this news, how many hours will it be until we find out Dune will forego HBO Max? Thanks. Well, as you know, I mean, there's been a lot of battling over the fact that uh, streaming services are sort of taking over our award shows and the Academy Awards as well, and Netflix being a major player now, and them going after the prestige properties. In a way, I kind of get the DJ's thinking here. A variety, this comes to us from Variety, the Variety says, the DGA National Board also reinstated its requirement of an exclusive theatrical run, which was temporarily suspended due to pandemic-related theater closures for the DGA Theatrical Feature Film Award. The rule, which was actually first introduced in 2019, requires that films release after June 15th, 2021, have an exclusive theatrical run of at least seven days prior to any other exhibition. Movies released via other distribution platforms, such as streaming services, on the same day and date they hit theaters, are not eligible for the Guild's top award. Now, I, John, I look at this as the idea of preserving the theatrical experience. I'm all for that. I'm a proponent of it. I think maybe we should do that. But that's the old me talking. That's the uh, iconoclast. I, I, I believe the theatrical experience... I think all movies benefit from being in a theater, whether they're documentaries, whether they're low-budget indie films, whether they're the biggest budget uh, crossover comic book extravaganzas like Infinity War and Endgame. Because seeing an image projected larger than life and having great sound and being envel enveloped in darkness with strangers, having a communal experience, I think is ri it, it makes our culture richer. We're richer for it. And the idea that oh, we're just going to hang out in our pajamas, you know, with potato chips in our hands and a drink or whatever and watching at home when you can always get up, go to the bathroom or talk on the phone or leave. I think that diminishes the experience. So I'm a snob. I'm a theatrical snob. So I have no problem with this idea that movies are meant to be seen on the big screen. That's part of the art form itself. Just like I think it's important to go to a museum to watch, look at great paintings or look at great sculpture because that environment allows you to pay more attention to what you're watching, which I think enriches the human soul. I really do. But that said, our world now is changing. And by having these rules, does this mean that we're not changing with it? I don't know. What do you think? It's tough because... I, you try to look at, remember, we got to remember that the organization we're talking about here is directors. It's the directors, yeah. the people most responsible for whether or not the movie you watch is good or not. It is the directors. And everybody always fights to defend the directors. The directors, the directors, the directors. Don't interfere with the directors. Don't, 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 don't complicate the life of the directors. Let the directors do their art and all that kind of stuff. This, this is, this is the group of people that we're talking about here. Now, it's important to point out, Rob, that the DGA instituted these rules before the pandemic. Like, th these were rules they had the p before the pandemic. They just froze those rules, and they suspended that rule during the pandemic because they understood that, hey, look, these are extreme times and extreme circumstances. Some of these movies are going to have to be put out on streaming. Uh, so they understood that. That was a, a key part of what their understanding was. This is simply them saying, okay, we're moving past the pandemic now. We are reinstituting the rule that we have put on freeze. Now, look, the DGA was pretty clear a while ago that to them, as directors, they make films for the big screen. That's, that's what the directors feel. The directors feel that we create our art primarily with the intention of it being seen in a theater in a collective communal experience, watching these movies and having these shared experiences. That's how we direct these movies and how we want them to be recognized. So for them to say, well, so we are putting in a rule for ourselves 
their their rules don't affect anybody else. Like their rules don't affect the academy. They don't affect anybody else. It's just their rules for themselves. We have a rule for ourselves, the Directors Guild says, that a movie to be considered for the top honor has to be a theatrical release film. That that's that's our rule for ourselves. And Rob, I as long as they're not doing anything that is what's the best word I can look for? that is prejudicial against individuals, I'm all for any organization making any rules for themselves that they want. I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're self-governing. You, you can put any rules in place for yourself because your rules don't affect other people. They don't affect me. You're the director's body. If you want to have that rule, you have that rule. And listen, if one of their, th- this is how I feel about it, Rob. If one of their primary values as directors is that we direct films for the big screen. I mean, obviously, the Directors Guild also includes television directors and all that kind of stuff, but this is how they feel about their movies, that we are only going to recognize those that have the theatrical experience. Then more power to them. It's their organization. It's their body. It's not affecting anybody else. If that And if the directors don't like that, they can change it because this is the director's organization. So... I, I I get it. I can understand why some other people may not like it, but it's theirs. And Rob, I can't remember. Uh, were Were you a part of the Directors Guild of America? I cannot. I no, I never was. Okay, okay. So, I mean, it it all depends. I'd love to be though. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. But listen, the the other question that comes up though is this. Obviously, when you get a lot of awards buzz, it can increase the bottom line. And Dune is going to be one of those movies that's going to have a lot of awards buzz. And just by nature that Denis Villeneuve is directing it, you know that Dune is a movie that very well could get a lot of attention from the Directors Guild as maybe winning Best Director for that movie. Now, obviously, the way things stand right now, Denis Villeneuve will not qualify because Warner Brothers stabbed Denis Villeneuve in the back went behind the backs of their financers and decided to say, we're putting Dune on HBO Max. So that disqualifies them from that. But there, Robert, there's been a lot of whispers over the past number of months that Warner Brothers and Legendary may have secretly made an arrangement where at some point they're going to announce that Dune is actually going to get a theatrical run first. There's been nothing to confirm that. Let's just be clear. There has been nothing to confirm that. But do you think, as the person who wrote in the question asking, do you think that this move by the DGA could further prompt Warner Brothers to make sure that Dune gets a theatrical release first before going to HBO Max? Or do you think it's not going to affect it at all? Oh, I I think it definitely could affect it. I mean, the studios still like to pick up their awards. And uh, I think that something like Dune, which is one of their uh, Tiffany tentpole releases of of the year, I mean, certainly... A big budget, spare no expense, uh, sci-fi epic based on a beloved literary property that's hopefully going to be the jumping off point of TV shows and multiple sequels. I mean, this is as prestigious as it gets. And if they want to keep it as prestigious as they hope, they want to have certainly they want their director to have the opportunity to get a shot at the biggest award a director can get it. That's from his peers, the DGA. I mean, even more so, I mean, look, obviously everybody wants an Academy Award, but getting an award from the DGA for a director is a big deal. And I don't think that anybody would want, certainly a studio doesn't want the press saying, well, one of our biggest and most important releases of the year, yeah, we're not going to give our director the opportunity to win an award from his peers. I mean, I, and by the way, I believe that Dune should get an exclusive theatrical release first because, you know, it, allow people that want to have that experience. I mean, you could say, well, Rob, not everyone has to watch it on, on HBO Max. But I don't know. I think, I think the world, I think the world, John, is better off if they see a movie like Dune in the theater. I, yeah. and I think we should start thinking about that. I mean, movies aren't just entertainment. They're an art form. And, and our culture, humanity needs its art. That's what defines us. That's what makes our lives more than just the, the daily struggle of keeping ourselves in one piece every day. I mean, that's why we need art. That's what it's enriching to the soul. Make Dune theatrical only, at least for seven days. By God, come on, do it. Yeah, I agree. Question is for you guys. 
How do you feel about this? Jump on down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.